When I first started uh, strip tilling a little over 20 years ago, I had just an eight row uh, rigid bar um, and I just used a flow divider, you know, it, it didn't do variable rate or anything. So it was just equal amounts per row. Um, one of the first things that I didn't, you know, they, they were talking about using a mole knife to do more tillage. And, um, I tried that and it just really tore up the ground too much for me. So I went back to just a straight, uh, low profile knife, um, one of the things that I, and, and then I've also added uh, the rolling baskets to help firm uh, the uh, strip back up after I strip tilled it. And with the mole knife, it would pull it, pull it down a lot better. And so I ended up adding uh, two sets of uh, downforce springs because just the, the low profile knife doesn't have enough, uh, doesn't pull down deep enough. So what I, what I, how I've compensated for that is I've added uh, another set of downforce springs to, to now I can use the weight ball, the weight of the toolbar to kind of push the, uh, the strip till rig into the ground to get to a depth that I want. Um, and then as I added, um, to went from eight rows to 12 rows, uh, I also started variable rate, which I had to, then I had to use, um, different sections so that I could turn on and off the the different sections of the piece of equipment and have the uh, flow monitors so that if you do get a row plugged um, you, we can see that row being plugged um, and really it's been working quite well for me it's there's not a lot of maintenance I've had to do bearing changes but uh, that's just normal with any piece of equipment you have things that wear out that need to be replaced um and uh but it's it's there hasn't been a lot of changes in the last 20 years but there's there's been some small changes that have uh i feel that that work for the type of soils we have down here and um and it's been doing a good job and i haven't really done anything major and I'd say in the last five to seven years on the equipment. I like with the coulters that I, I tried, uh, I use a, a, a ribbed coulter because it, it helps, uh, keeps rolling because a lot of, we have some pretty sticky soils and it seems to kind of self clean better than just a straight coulter. Um, and, and that allows me to keep working whether I, we do get into some wetter weather um, and um, it, but it, 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 I'm able to get into the field, uh, most of the time when it, when I want to, uh, the only times that, like I said, if we're just excessively wet, um, that'd be the only thing that, uh, you know, when you, when we shouldn't be <laughs> in there. Well, down here, we, we're, never really at a time that we're not the the residue is not decomposing and uh the biggest problem that we have when it comes to planting is being getting it too dry and what i would my thought is what i would like to do the next uh thing that i'd like to try and add is some kind of a behind the rolling basket another set of uh spiked wheels or something to kind of grab the residue that's in the middle of the rows that I really don't mind if that dries out that I could throw back on top of my strip so that it stays it has more cover on it so, and, and more residue so that if we you know it'll hold that moisture in better uh, for the uh, for when it comes to be planting time but um, but that's 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 my next idea that I would like to try and and to try and have where I have um, throw back some more residue because the row, the row, I, I, I tried with row cleaners on front and it really, it did a good job, but I found I really didn't need it because I don't have that much residue to begin with. Most of the time, unless we have a really good corn crop, um, and even, so that's why I, I took the row, the, um, row cleaners off the strip till units and I, I pretty much just use them exclusively on my planter now. Um, but as far as the, uh, the strip till rig, I would actually, like you said, like to throw back some mulch back onto the row and keep it covered and keep it, keep that moisture in there as long as possible. Cause it, it, it doesn't take us too long to dry out when we get to, 
to the springtime here. <laughs>